Hello, my name is Chiman Park, also known as Chen. I'm a second year graduate student in the Final Studio Program at the College of Art and Design at the Rochester Institute of Technology. And here in the 2022 Graduate Showcase, I would like to discuss about my research and thesis titled The Formula of Beauty and the Politics of Northeast Asian Beauty. Uh, the thesis involves paintings and deals with the racialization of beauty and anti-racist aesthetics as discussed by Shirley and Tate. And the basic premise of the thesis include uh, the fact that beauty is a social construct. Uh, beauty is performative just like gender. Beauty is inscribed on the surface of the body through language, meaning that beauty is constructed socially through words uh, on the surface of the body, since philosophers argue that such as uh, um, Philosophers such as, such as uh, Foucault argued that uh, there's no inner core, but every, all the experiences and um, thoughts and ideas, identity is inscribed on the surface of the body because there's no inner core through language. And we assess the beauty through social norms and conventions, social norms and conventions, and of what is beautiful and what is ugly. And racialization of beauty is a concept that Shirley and Tate is uh, uh, propagating. And it is defined as the process of authorizing non-white beauty while normalizing the white beauty as iconic and universal, thereby pushing non-white beauty to strive for whiteness. And Shirley and Tate is trying to critique this phenomenon in popular culture and, and outside in society. And evidence can be found in Japanese anime and Hollywood movies where um, and outside of those things, people have applied over, there's an overabundance of skin lightening and plastic surgery among Koreans and other Northeast Asians who are aiming for a wider looks with taller and narrower nose and narrower nose and bigger eyes with double eyelids. And um, because like, for example, Koreans, they have usually smaller eyes or um, with monolids and wider nose with that are flatter, so they want these traits that are uh, more white. And um, anti-racist anti aesthetics is a way of struggling against the racialization of beauty, and it is born from the black struggle against racism. It, it counters the racialization of beauty by celebrating non-white beauty traits and rejecting the white beauty as iconic and searching for the original mm -hmm. non-white beauty prior to racialization. And, but anti-racist aesthetics replaces racist binary of the white the beautiful and the non-white the non-beautiful with the spectrum equality where all the beauties are, are equal to one another as equal counterparts. And my paintings will deal with the Northeast Asian beauty part in particular because I'm a Northeast Asian and, and a Korean. So, and, in, and I want to talk about internalization in anime. It's an internalization is a term originally uh, discussed by Freud uh, in psychoanalytic theory. And it's basically the process in which um, a boy who fears castration by his father abandons desire for both the father and the mother because the boy is afraid that the, if he desires the mother, then the boy will get castrated by his father. And if, I, if he desires the, the father, he has to be more like his mother, in which case he also has to be castrated. So the fear of castration causes the boy to um, abandoned the desire for his both his both of his parents, but the boy um, uh, uh, internalizes the well, either the father or the mother, uh, psych their psyche and their um, personality or their uh, behavior or attitude, it, but and allows the fa father or the mother to reside within the boy, thereby identifying. As the father or the mother, but uh, the boy will identify with one of those two figures, and uh, and um, that's the origin of the internalization in psychoanalytic theory. And so it can generally mean that you're trying to incorporate something, somebody's traits such as personality or attitude or identity, and allow it to live within you, and it becomes a part of you. And internalization in anime is the in anime is when Japanese identify as a de-Japanized and Westernized characters in anime to mourn the impossibility of attaining Western identity in real life, and it's a kind of escapism or fantasy. And Japanese anime characters are 
A Japanese anime depicts Japan as a Western country in Asia, and characters have white like or westernized traits, which are narrow and pointy nose, very large eyes with colored irises and double eyelids, sometimes westernized western stylization of eyebrows, light lighter pink skin and colored light, colored and light hair. Northeast Asians and Japanese do not exhibit these phenomes, and this stylization of characters looks very uh, diff is different from abstraction in The Simpsons or Ar Arthur, which are American cartoons, which are more abstracted. The characters are abstracted, so you can't really tell from a distance or at a first glance what their race racial identity is. But the Japanese are characters, anime characters are ra uh, racially stylized towards whiteness. And on a side note, I would just like to say that some North, Northeast Asians, including Japanese and Koreans and Chinese, have lighter lighter skin, but not necessarily a pink skin. And that internalization in anime also involves culture and social context and narratives, and narratives as well. And then my paintings depict idealized Northeast Asian female characters. And the goal is to counter the racialization of Northeast Asian beauty in anime in real life. And the second goal is to establish a believable role for emulation for myself as a transgender woman because I believe I am a transgender woman. And often um, the female figures are nude and sexualized and the reason is, just, is to counter Japanese anime characters' attractive and seductive qualities. And then second reason is because I'm also, also attracted to those imageries. And the intent is not to objectify or dehumanize the woman, but to identify with the female characters who have my faces on them, mostly, or, or have faces that are very similar to my faces, my, similar to my face. And I do not bother painting men because very, very often because I'm not interested in them, and I turn that men into colorful animals in my art. And female characters are the main characters of my paintings. Uh, original Northeast Asian beauty cannot be found, Meaning that, uh, as I discussed earlier, the North is, uh, the, the anti-racist aesthetic search for, searches for original non-white beauty that's prior to its racialization, but it cannot be found because um, my perception and taste is influenced by the racialization of beauty, uh, which is world, worldwide. And so I, even my taste and perception are, are racialized already, so I cannot find the original North East Asian beauty prior to the racialization, excuse me, be so that um, the original Northeast Asian beauty, which is unaltered by racialization of beauty, uh, would be, um, it, there's no such thing as original because everything is a copy of a copy and or the original is always evolving according to Shirley and Tate. And um, people always constantly borrow, borrow from each other and change things. So. There's no such, such a thing as an original. And, but then what we can have is a hybrid beauty that makes use of hybrid stylizations and traits. Stylization is the making of style by incorporating decorative and performative elements, such as ornaments, eyelashes, wigs, and contacts, in the case of black beauty. And it may also have, it may also include plastic surgery in the case of Northeast Asians, and as well as these ornamental and decorative elements. Uh, and then make, and hybrid beauty makes use of hybrid traits such as wider hips and ampler breasts, which can be obtained through plastic surgery. And also, I desire these traits for myself. And internalization in paintings, uh, internalization in painting uh, in, it occurs in my painting because I mourn the temporary loss or abandonment, uh, abandonment of having the ideal feminine body defined by the racialized beauty standards. But I, I allow the image of the ideal body to reside within me, and I identify with this body at the level of identification, meaning that I identify, I identify with this body, and it becomes a part of me. Mimetic fantasy, fantasy is the fantasy based mimesis or emulation of women in my paintings. And mimesis just basically means emulation or copy. Or the base or based on my desire, it's the mimetic fantasy is based on my desires and wishes and observations. So. For example, this painting Hug Attack is depicting myself, me myself as a bride. And um, it's, it's like this uh, fantasy where I wish I was in this kind of situation uh, because I see the situation as being beautiful and um, vulnerable and revealing. And those are what attract me. Those are the qualities that attract me. And then some of the concepts in my paintings include the Janus, which, which is a two-faced Greek god, and it may relate to the concept of yin and yang in the East. 
and uh, Onagata, Japanese men who perform roles of femininity in Kabuki theater, and the tigers who are a symbol of ac power, excellence, and truth in Korea. And role models, uh, my role model as an artist is Francis Picabia because he worked in pointillism, impressionism, cubism, dadaism, and surrealism. And my influences include Judith Lynn Hairs, a who makes colorful feminist paradises in her paintings, Diego Rivera and Liquide, who worked in social realism. Diego Rivera was a Mexican artist and, and the husband of Frida Kahlo, Kylo, and Liquide was a Korean artist who studied Diego Rivera and Mexican muralism in Japan and came back to Korea. And Henry Matisse and Tunji Adini Jones are my other influencers because they make lush for human forms and through paint, painterly language. And Tunji Adeni, Adeni Jones is said to be a modern black Matisse. This has counters the racialization of beauty with anti-racist aesthetics in the form of Northeast Asian and hybrid beauties. And it displaces racist binary of the white beauty versus non-white beauty, non-white non-beauty with, with, the, with the spectrum of equality. And it specifically counters the attractive selective anime characters in anime. And it also creates role models for emulation as a transgender woman within mimetic fantasy and identify with the female characters in my paintings through internalization and at the level of identification. And the thesis generally creates its vision for a more equal world in terms of beauty. And beauty, can, I, I want to remind people that beauty cannot be dismissed with anti-beauty stances because beauty continues to matter to people at the level of identification and self-empowerment. Thanks so much.